Hi everyone, Dr. Mike here. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the muscles of breathing. First thing we need to look at is a syringe. You can see that the plunger of the syringe is pushed all the way up and the volume in the barrel is quite low. But if I were to pull back on this syringe, what you're gonna find is that the volume inside of the barrel is gonna increase. Now here's the thing, something called Boyle's Law gets activated in this scenario. Boyle, Boyle's Law states that if I were to increase the volume of a container, at the same time, the pressure in that container goes down. So that means by pulling on the syringe, the volume inside the barrel increases and the pressure inside decreases. Now, what does that mean and what does that have to do with breathing? Well, air or gas will only ever move from a high pressure to a low pressure. So we've just decreased the pressure in this barrel by increasing the volume. And so air is going to rush in because it's a higher pressure outside. This is exactly what happens when we breathe. We take our thoracic cavity, we've got our lungs inside here, we've got our airways, we've got our diaphragm. So we want to bring air in, we want to inspire, inhale, we need to contract that diaphragm. If we contract it, we pull it down, we increase the volume of this thor thoracic cavity and the pressure decreases and air rushes in. But if we want to bring even more air in, we need to continually increase the volume of this thoracic cavity. So we take the external intercostal muscles here, we contract them and pull the rib cage up and out, and again, increase the volume, decrease the pressure, more air rushes in. We've got even more accessory muscles, like the pectoralis muscles, for example like the sternocleidomastoid and the scalenes. If we contract them, we further increase the volume of the thoracic cavity and even more air comes in. What if we want to breathe out? What do we do? Well, we simply relax those muscles. That's the first thing we do. And air will move in the opposite direction because we're decreasing the volume, increasing the pressure, and air moves out. But if we want to forcefully exhale, well, we can contract the internal intercostals. We can contract the abdominal muscles, which are going to be down here. And we can contract the lats. And again, this decreases the volume, increasing the pressure, and even more air rushes out. And this is the mechanics of breathing. 